Welcome to Jason in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a Southwest salad with chicken tossed in a honey lime vinaigrette. Well, we got some prep to get out of the way, so let's get started. Okay, to toast our corn, I've got a pan heated over medium low heat, and I'm going to add some corn kernels here. And we're just going to toast these up. This is a uh, corn off the cob. So you can see all the corn milk in there. You can use frozen corn if you like. I just happen to have fresh this time. And we're just going to toast these up until they get some char marks on them. You can also grill this if you want to grill the corn. Give you extra extra flavor there. So we're just going to continue cooking this until it gets char on it, and then the corn will be done. All right, now we're going to do the same thing with some pumpkin seeds. These are raw pumpkin seeds that I'm going to toast up here in the pan, just like I did with the corn. This is over medium low heat. You can already purchase roasted pumpkin seeds if you like and use those instead. So we're going to toast these up and we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to saute some chicken breast here. You can grill these if you want for more flavor, especially if you add some fruit wood to it like apple or cherry. I've got enough oil to just cover the bottom of the pan. And I've seasoned my chicken with ancho chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And I've got the pan on about medium heat. So we're gonna gently lay these into the pan. I can get them all in here. There we go. It's two chicken breasts cut in half. So we're going to brown these on both sides and cook them through. And then the chicken will be ready for our salad. All right, the salad dressing is real easy. We've got three and a half ounces of key lime juice. You can just use regular limes if you want. I just prefer the taste of the key limes. We've got six ounces of avocado oil, two tablespoons of honey, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon of cumin, and then salt and pepper to taste. Then just put all your salad dressing ingredients, like a mason jar or any kind of jar like this. And all you do is shake it up. Simple as that. It all comes together and your dressing is ready. Just make sure you taste it though. Make sure you have enough salt and pepper and you've got everything the way you like it. For me that's perfect. Lime comes through, you got a little bit of sweetness. It's really good. Now you can make this to your liking. If you want less lime, more cumin, no cumin, however you like it. All right, so for the fried tortillas, I've just cut some corn tortillas up in strips. And I've got my oil heated uh, to 350, 375. We're just gonna lay these in here. And we're gonna fry these up until they get crispy. I wouldn't recommend using uh, homemade tortillas for this. They just don't work as well as a dry tortilla. And if you can get the uh, special ones made for frying at a um, tortilleria, that would be even better. All right, so we just wanna make sure these crisp up 
pretty well. As soon as these come out of the oil, we want to hit them with some salt so that way the salt will stick to them. They'll be nice and seasoned. Now if you've got family around or you like to snack, make sure you make extra of these because people walk by and take a few each time. So much better than a store-bought chip. But alternatively, you can use store-bought tortilla chips and just crumble them up. It's completely up to you. All right, these are looking good. I'm gonna get these out of here. Okay. And now that they're out of the oil, we want to sprinkle them with salt right away. And then just continue to do this with however many tortilla strips you need for how many salads you're making. It's completely up to you. I've got another batch to fry. All right, fried tortillas are ready. Give them a taste. Mm. Nice and crunchy, good corn flavor. Good seasons with the salt. Very good. Now if you want to, you can use other seasonings, of course. I just like plain salt because our chicken is already heavily seasoned. You just want a simple flavor out of these. All right, now we're gonna put our salad together. I'm gonna put in some of these tomatoes. I've got multicolor tomatoes here that I've just cut in half. Put some of those in there. Our roasted corn. Just put as much of this as you want in there. We've got our toasted pumpkin seeds. Got some cotilla cheese that's grated. And we've got our sauteed chicken that I've diced up. Put some of that in there. And then our honey lime vinaigrette. Put some in there as much as you want. Now we're going to toss this up, get all those ingredients in there, this looks so good, this is really a great salad. Alright, we got it tossed up. We're going to put it into our, put it on a plate, I'm going to put it in a bowl. All right, now to garnish, I'm gonna put a few pieces of our sliced tomato on top for some color. Some more of our roasted corn. A little bit more of our pumpkin seeds. chicken. You can slice the chicken if you like. I just like to dice it. It just makes it easier to eat. Then we got some fried tortilla strips that we made. 
Put those right on top. Put as much as you want. And then we'll top it off with a little bit more of our grated cotija cheese. Now that's what I call a salad. All right, let's see how how it is. Give me a bite here. Wow, really, really good. Got the toastiness and the crunch of the pumpkin seeds. The good taste of the, the Southwest seasoning on that chicken. We got the sweetness from the roasted corn, the cotilla cheese, the tomatoes. Oh, the, the honey lime vinaigrette just tops it off. I love this salad. It's very, very good. I highly recommend you make it. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a great lunch. If you find value in these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. God bless you.